Imagine you're in the hospital after a serious injury and the doctor comes in with a medication that's going to take your pain away. You might be thinking, how does this magic pill work? That magic pill is morphine, a powerful painkiller that's been used for centuries. But despite its long history, the mechanisms behind how morphine relieves pain haven't been fully understood until now. Researchers have made a groundbreaking discovery that sheds light on how morphine works its magic and it's changing, it's changing the game for pain management. So how does morphine work? It blocks signals in the pain pathways and increases feelings of pleasure. It's like a superhero that saves the day by stopping the pain villains in their tracks. But what's really interesting is that morphine acts on several central and peripheral pain pathways in the body. It's not just a simple on-off switch, it's a complex process that involves multiple players. Researchers used new experimental approaches to investigate how morphine relieves pain, and what they found was fascinating. Using laboratory animals, the researchers exposed them to morphine and managed to capture the neurons that the von Sch the morphine activated. This allowed them to identify, classify, and synthetically control the neurons in the neural pathways involved in pain relief. It's like they were able to hack into the brain's computer system and figure out the code. And what they found was a morphine ensemble, a group of neurons in the brain, whose change in activity leads to pain relief. But where is this morphine ensemble located? It's in the part of the brain called the rostral ventromedial medulla, RVM. And what's really cool is that a particular type of neuron that wires to the spinal cord plays a central role in the morphine ensemble. It's like a messenger that carries the pain relieving signals to the spinal cord. In the spinal cord, these neurons connect to so-called inhibitory neurons that slow down pain signaling and thus prevent pain. It's like a team effort to stop pain in its tracks. But with great power comes great responsibility. Morphine has some serious side effects, including addiction, abuse, overdose, and even death. It's like a double-edged sword that can both relieve pain and cause harm. The study's findings may help reduce these side effects in the future by providing a, a deeper understanding of how morphine works in the body. And that's the ultimate goal, to make pain management safer and more effective. So what's next? The researchers plan to investigate why the pain relief decreases more and more with long-term use of morphine. It's like they're trying to solve a puzzle and they're getting closer to the answer. And who knows, maybe one day we'll have a new generation of painkillers that are just as effective but without the risks. The possibilities are endless, and it's exciting to think about what the future holds. In conclusion, the discovery of how morphine relieves pain is a game changer. It's like we've cracked the code and now we can make informed decisions about how to use this powerful medication. And who knows? Maybe one day we'll find a way to make pain a thing of the past. That's the ultimate goal. And it's a goal worth striving for. So the next time you're in the hospital and the doctor comes in with a medication that's going to take your pain away, you'll know the magic behind it. <laughs>